Good morning. Today is Saturday the 22nd of January and it's uh, a feria in the second week of the church's year but there's a memorial of St. Vincent the Deacon. Name the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty ever-living God who govern all things both in heaven and on earth mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. First reading is from the second book of Samuel. David returned from his rout of the Amalekites and spent two days in Ziklag. On the third day a man came from the camp where Saul had been, his garments torn and earth on his head. When he came to David, he fell to the ground and did homage. Where do you come from? David asked him. I have escaped from the Israelite camp, he said. David said to him, What happened? Tell me. The people have fled from the battlefield and many have fallen. Saul and his son Jonathan are dead too. Then David took hold of his garments and tore them, and all the men with him did the same. They mourned and wept and fasted until the evening for Saul and his son Jonathan, for the people of the Lord and for the house of Israel, because they had fallen by the sword. Then David made this lament over Saul and his son Jonathan. Alas, the glory of Israel has been slain on your heights. How did the heroes fall? Saul and Jonathan, loved and lovely, neither in life nor in death were divided. Swifter than eagles they were, stronger they, they than lions. O daughters of Israel, weep for Saul, who clothed you in scarlet and fine linen, who set brooches of gold on your garments. How did the heroes fall in the thick of battle? O Jonathan, in your death I am stricken. I am desolate for you, Jonathan, my brother. Very dear to me you were, your love to me more wonderful than the love of a woman. How did the heroes fall and the battle armour fail? The word of the Lord. And the Gospel is the Gospel of Mark chapter 3. Jesus went home and once more such a crowd collected that they could not even have a meal. When his relatives heard of this, they set out to take charge of him, convinced he was out of his mind. The Gospel of the Lord. So in today's readings, David is out of his mind with grief at the loss of Saul and Jonathan and the relatives of Jesus think he's out of his mind because he's so determined to do his ministry to the people that he hasn't even got time to eat. The lament in the first reading by David on hearing the death of King Saul and his son Jonathan is a very poignant and human lament. Yes, Saul on a number of occasions had tried to kill David because he was so jealous of him. He felt that he was being unfairly treated in fame against him by God and against for David by God. He was kept blaming God and he wanted to kill David for that reason. And his son Jonathan, who he loved, was loved to David very much. And there was a, a triangle of family conflict um, and Jonathan constantly tried to stop his father Saul killing David because he said no he doesn't deserve it. He was anointed not by any choice of his but because Samuel on behalf of God chose him. So we hear this great sadness but David through the midst of all this effectively becomes the king and he turns into the greatest king that uh, Israel ever had and we'll hear more of his exploits. Great as a king he may have been but he was not ever greater than Jesus who was to follow him. Uh, Jesus was often called son of David to kind of emphasize that he was in that line of greatness. But the gospel shows that Jesus the king was not that sort of king. He wasn't conquering people. 
He was here to serve and to help. And he was crowded by people all wanting for healing, for assistance, for growth, to be cured, to have devils thrown out, to be cured of mental illnesses. And Jesus said, yes, 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 exhausting himself with his work. And we hear it all summed up in this very shortest of all the Gospels, three lines long. Jesus and his disciples had no time to eat. And when his, his relatives and friends heard this, they thought, that's it, Jesus is clean out of his mind, he's gone mad. And they came to kind of, in a sense, rescue him, put him under... Um, a mental health section to stop him from being too stupid. However, the point of both of them, the grief of David and the um, sense of the unhappiness of the relatives about Jesus, all comes back to this point, that Jesus' call is to go beyond what is ordinarily expected and to be more generous because at the end of the day Jesus showed the most gener generosity of all giving his life through his suffering and death but giving us new life through his resurrection. A brief word about Vincent the deacon whose memorial it is today. Again we know very little about him it's very similar to the case of um, Saint Sebastian, Saint Agnes yesterday he was martyred in the 2nd or 3rd century. Not too many details are known about him, but he was committed to serving Christ and would not yield to those who wanted him to give up his role. Again, as always with martyrs, they, they are witness to us. They're saying, this is how seriously we took our commitment to Jesus. Do you likewise? We turn to our bidding prayers. The response is, Lord, help us as we work. God the Father has adopted us as, as brothers and sisters of his only Son, and through the ages has stayed with us and kept us in his love. Let us ask him for the needs of the world. Lord, help us as we work. We pray for all those who plan and build in our cities. Give them respect for every human value. Lord, help us as we work. Pour out your spirit on artists, craftsmen and musicians. May their work bring variety, joy and inspiration to our lives. Lord, help us as we work. Be with us as the cornerstone of all that we build, for we can do nothing well without your aid. Lord, help us as we work. You have created us anew in the resurrection of your Son. Give us the strength to create a new life and a new world. Lord, help us as we work. We pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We pray, let us praise you, O Lord, with the voice of mind and heart and deed, and since life itself is your gift, May all we have and all we are be yours. We make this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless. Have a good day.